As government, academia, and commercial industries move into the cloud, they're actually losing a lot of visibility. It's someone else's hardware, it's someone else's infrastructure, it's someone else's everything. And we're relying on them to provide us the information for us to do instant response and forensics. As a result, uh, we said, I think there's a huge gap there, which is we end up trusting a lot of folks, either on-premises or off-premises, and we needed something. So that's the sort of genesis of Chirp was to create a platform to aid people who are moving to either on-premises clouds or off-premises clouds uh, to gather information either to aid in digital forensics or incident response. CHIRP stands for Cloud Hypervisor Incident Response Platform, in that we can start from a cloud, but we can get down below that cloud and say, what is the piece of technology that really provides all the resources to the virtual machine and to the user, and that is the hypervisor. It's at that point that we inject ourselves into the infrastructure to pull out the data we need. Traditionally, hypervisors provide a very limited set of APIs to any sort of analyst or any sort of uh, security software that may need to access information from the VMs. Now, we thought those APIs were not enough. That's why we created Chirp, to essentially be able to provide our own APIs. Um, being given you know, full access to the hardware, we would actually have the same permissions as the hypervisor itself. So in the cyber war, there's asymmetry. We as defenders, we're just trying to plug holes the whole time, whereas an attacker only needs to succeed once before, to get into our networks. They can hide wherever they want. And what makes this technology super novel and super exciting for us as defenders and for us as researchers to provide tools for defenders is they can no longer hide. We can see everything that they're doing and we can pull out that information, feed it to people to take action now. So there's lots of operating systems, right? Uh, Linux, Windows, uh, Mac OS X. All of that has, uh, has to go through a hypervisor in the cloud. So how do we create an, a common information platform that we can start looking at all operating system types, all the hypervisors in a ubiquitous way and normalize the information, uh, provide you real-time situational awareness, provide you uh, the ability to look at memory, look at disks, um, look at the network, and fuse all that information in a way that wasn't possible. That's the novelty that comes with this particular technology, is that those capabilities do not exist right now in the commercial sphere. I think the ultimate goal for a lot of this, regardless of where you sit in government, industry, or academia, is to empower the analysts. Today, they're hamstring, and we need to give them the power to take back the ability for them to do forensics and some response when moving to the cloud.